Let's take a look at how you can add some animation to your website by embedding Google Slides. Now, this isn't necessarily the best way to add animation to your website, but it certainly does provide a high level of editorial control. As a marketer, you can go in and easily just modify a Google Slide, and that will change what's seen on your website. Everything here is live. Now, the standard embed of a Google Slides presentation is going to include this these controls at the bottom of the slide. And with those controls, the users can do a lot of things, forward, reverse slides, they can download as a PDF or a PPTX, but you can simply hide these controls by surrounding the Google embed code, this iframe code, with a div tag. And in this div tag, you simply need to set the height at a lesser value than the height of the slideshow itself. And you'll need to play around with this. And depending on your visitor's resolution, you may end up with black bars at the top or the bottom. Unfortunately, I haven't found a way yet to have a white background, which would blend this in more. Now this slideshow is looping automatically because I have these parameters, start equals true, loop equals true, and delay equals 10 seconds. And this is simply a slideshow here. And all I had to do to get the embed code was go into File, Publish to the Web, go to Embed, and then grab this code. So this is the code that you see in there with some modifications for height. And I took out some of the allow full screen tags. So that's one. Now the next one is some customer testimonials. So the way I did this was I went in and I created a slide presentation with three slides. And I also set the, the dimensions. I'm going to page setup here. I set this as 10 wide by two and a half high. So it's not a full size slideshow. And then what I did was I put in these three testimonials. And then for the transition, I use the gallery effect at medium. And what that nets out to is this effect right here, where you see the testimonials sliding in. The next one is just a straight slider. So very similar. It's this slider. And I have three different slides here. I just picked it a few brands at random. And for the transitions, I just use slide from left. So you can see here that each of these just slides from the left. The one thing you'll notice is after the third one slides, you'll get a, a black gap while it loops back to the first slide. Again, couldn't find a way to get rid of this black background. The fourth one is an animated call to action. Now, a little cheat I did here was I actually used a black background in the slide, which obscures the, the black bars around the edges. What I did here was just animate this button so if we look at the slideshow here, which is a end of post or bottom of post CTA, I actually have three slides. And the only change I made among the slides was to change the number of arrows to the right of get started. But also in each of these, I put a link behind the button so that when someone clicks this, it will go off to the landing page in this case. So those are four ways you can add animation to your website using Google Slides and simply looping them and then putting some div code to hide the normal bottom controls.